What's up, Stealth Nation? Matt here. It's Wednesday. It's midway through your week. I hope your week's going well, and um, welcome to all your new Stealth users. Um, it's an exciting, it's so cool to see all the excitement of people waiting for their deliveries and um, unboxing it and getting straight on. So um, yeah, welcome to all you new guys. Um, so I've basically got three new micro workouts to show you today. I'm going to run through them really quick. They're very simple, very easy to do. Um, pretty much anywhere, just using your body weight, okay? So the first one is squat pulses. So the whole thing here is just to have a slight movement up and down, okay? So you wanna stay relatively low, but if it's too hard, come up a little higher and just up and down, just pulse. Okay, but if you can get down, go nice and low. So squat pulses, simple as that. Uh, plank, shoulder, and toe taps. So, on the floor, on your mat or on your carpet, tall plank like this on your hands, tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder, tuck in, tap your toe, tap your toe. If you can't tap your toe, don't worry, but if you can maybe go for your knee instead, tap your knees. But anyway, it's, just, it's, the, it's that order. So shoulder, shoulder, toe, toe or knee, knee, up to you. Uh, and then squats with knees to elbows. So another great one that you can do anywhere in the house, anywhere you are. Um, squat down, come up, bang, bang. Down, bang, bang. Down, bang, bang. And, a, and just a really quick tip on that one. If when you're doing the cross bit here, you can really concentrate on your, on your abs, get a good squeeze in, you'll just get more out of the exercise. Because otherwise you could effectively just put more effort into the knee coming up, which is gonna take away from your abdominal contractions that are gonna help your hip flexors and lift your knee up. So to get more out of the exercise, really give those abs a good squeeze. Um, give, me a, give me a comment today, see, let me know how you are, let me know where you are, where in the world, where in the States, are you in Japan, are you in the UK? Let me know. Um, let me just quickly show you the three stealth exercises. So we've got TikToks, which I, cunningly named myself. So we're gonna go like a clock. So you're gonna go that way, pause that way, that way, pause. Back, forward, pause, side, pause, front, pause. Twist, pause. Okay, a bit like a clock, tick tock. Um, plank leg lifts. So you could do this on your hands or your elbows, but just alternating up, up. Alternate, keep those Ooh, keep your balance, fire those core muscles up. Think about your glutes, give them a good squeeze, try and keep your legs straight, but that's that one. And the other one is a combination move. So you're gonna do mountain climber on here with your twists. So I would do this on, on your hands, not on your elbows. So we go in, out, out, twist, twist, in, in, out, out. So rather than sprinting mountain climbers really quick, it's just a step in, step out. Twist, twist, step in, step out. And try and keep your hips in a good position throughout that one. If you find it's really challenging and maybe you don't want to do the twists, maybe just do the step in and step out. Your choice. Priscilla! Hey, you're getting, you're getting on with this uh, techno stuff. I'm no techno guy, but I've even got my microphone going and hey, new things, it's all good. All right, so let's just start off with a, a gentle warm up. So we're gonna start off with some squats because obviously we've got some squats coming up. Let's get our bodies rearing to go, get your warm legs, get the hips moving, especially if you guys have been working today, maybe even sat at a desk, excuse me. Let's do some lunges, so hands on your hips. Alternate right and left. Priscilla, wasn't it you that did the, had the derby day on, was it Saturday? I think, I'm pretty sure. Could have that wrong. All right, let's do some side lunges. Stay nice and low if you can. You should feel it in your groin as well. And I apologize if my shorts are so bright that you can't see anything else. 
Det är super jävlar. All right, let's do some jumping jacks, get everything moving. I'm trying not to chip over myself. All right, now squat and box. So squat down, let me get into shot. Squat down, box. Keep that core tight, keep your stomach tight. Punch hard. Picture my face if you want to. Whatever does it for you. Nice. All right, timer up. Who else we got here today? Anybody new? If you're new, please get in touch. Love to see it, love to see new people joining. Welcome you. Maybe this is your first live workout with us. All right, so first round is squat pulses and the TikToks. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds work. 30 seconds work with 30 seconds rest. And uh, we'll do each round, uh, each exercise twice. So it makes four minute rounds, three times four minute rounds. Not a long one, doesn't need to be, you'll still be sweaty. All right, get yourselves ready. We'll start with squat pulses, 10 seconds on the clock. Move this before I trip over it. All right, three, two, one. Let's go, let's pulse. Stay nice and low, if you can. If it's too hard, come up higher. It's a very minimal exercise, doesn't mean it's not worth doing. So remember, you can do this at any point during the day. I'll give you some examples after the workout. Keep pushing, you guys. Oh, it's burning now. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. It's a beautiful day here in the UK. It's about 20, I don't know, 22, 23 degrees. You'll have to Google the Fahrenheit if that's what you want to use. All right, TikTok's coming up. So remember, you can do this on your hands or your elbows. I'm going to use my hands. If you can't remember, just watch me and then go for it. So twist, pause, twist, pause, twist, pause. Like a clock. Think about those abs, think about the sides of your core. Fire it up. Keep your hips in a good position. 10 seconds left, time flies. Come on now. Three, two, one. Rest. Good, we're easing you in, easing you in. Oh, what a name. I can't, I can't pronounce that. I don't want to insult, but is it Nguyen? Nguyen? Welcome along if that's right. I'm so sorry if it's not. Nguyen, I think. All right, so squat pulse is coming up in three, two, one. Let's do it. Pulse. Fire those glutes up. Use your quads. Hope everybody's got healthy knees for this. Let's take those bums out, keep your back nice and neutral. All right, 10 seconds left. Push your eyes, push, push, push. Five seconds. Oh, rest. All right, TikTok's coming up. Oh, I really hope I got your name right. Who else is joining along? Pop your name in there guys, say hi. Otherwise I'm just talking to myself. All right, 10 seconds. Get ready for your TikToks. I'll do it on my elbows this time. So whoever's copying me, get yourself ready. Let's do it. Twist, twist, twist. 
hips in a good position. Good muscle engagement on each twist. Nice deep breaths. We're not rushing it. We never rush it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left, that was. For clarification. Three, two, one. Round one, done. Beautiful, beautiful. Grab a drink if you need it, guys. Welcome to the team, Meg. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Absolutely love it. You see everybody posting, <laughs> tra tracking their delivery vans, watching out the windows. <laughs> I love your honesty, love it. Anyway, I hope you get yours soon. Then you can talk to yourself and the, uh, and the stealth. Have a good old conversation. All right, round two is plank, shoulder and toe taps. So a quick run through again. So we're gonna go tap, 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 tap. If you can't reach your toes, tap your knees, tap. Let me do it front on just so that you get a good impression. So tap, 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 and then repeat the process. Uh, and uh, plank leg lifts. So hands or elbows, whatever, leg lift, nice straight legs, glutes engaged, glutes is your bum. Keep your balance, try and stay as steady as possible. Try not to let your hips sway. That was the worst dance move you've ever seen. Okay, time is ticking. 10 seconds to go. And we're going straight into our plank, shoulder, knee, no toe tap, sorry. Three, two, one, let's do it. Tap shoulder, tap the shoulder, tap your toe, tap your toe. Tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, toes, toes. Remember, use the knees if you want to. Shoulders, shoulders. Knees, knees, like that. Oh. Shoulders. Come on guys, keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh. Oh. Three, two, one. Finish the round, finish the rep, finish the rep. There we go. Whew. Feeling good. <laughs> Who likes my new signs? How cool are they? Except on this is backwards because of the mirror image, which is, which sucks a little bit. All right, so plank leg lift, leg lifts. Let's go. Straight legs. You can use your elbows if you want to use your elbows. Concentrate on the movement. Slow and steady. Slow and steady re wins the race. Come on now. Oh, I bent my leg, that was bad. Oh, 10 seconds you guys, keep pushing. Ah, bent my leg again, come on. There we go. Oh, rest. Oh. So Maggie, are you joining in? Even though you haven't got your stealth, are you enjoying it? Because you can do this without a stealth, definitely. Plank shoulder and toe taps, you can 100% do. And the leg lifts, you could just do that in a, in a full, tall plank push-up position. All right, back to your taps, guys. Shoulder, shoulder, toes, toes. Have your feet just a little bit wider than your shoulders. I should have told you that before, sorry. Shoulders, shoulders, toes. So, deep breaths, you guys. Keep pushing through. 10 seconds left. Rest. Whew. 
my mat slides all over the floor. What surfaces? Just, just have to do it on wood. Well, so your mat slides on the wood? Yeah, I guess it would. Um, I don't know, actually. Sorry. <laughs> all right, leg lifts. Use my elbows this time just to show you guys. Keep those legs straight. Nice and controlled move. Ah, I fell. There you go, I'm not perfect. Keep pushing guys, five seconds. Rest. Ah, it's always so much harder than you think it's gonna be. Welcome along, Jennifer, thank you. Um, are you and your husband, are you joining in now? I hope so, in Ohio, love that. Um, stop that, we're getting ready for round three, you guys. Um, oh, you say you're just watching, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe you'll do it later, huh? Um, okay, so round three is squats with knees to elbows. So it's this one, squat down. Crunch, crunch, remember? Maximize the tension across your abs when you do that. Get more out of the exercise. And then twist with mountain climber steps. So that one is the twist, like that. Step in, out. Twist, step in, out. Okay? Simples. All right, quick drink for me. Oopsie. Are we good? Sorry guys, Wi-Fi dropped out for a second. Right, getting the timer going. Get ready for uh, squats with knees to elbows. So it's a squat with that crunch. Timer's ticking. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, go. Crunch, crunch, squat, crunch, crunch, squat. Really squeeze those abs when you do that. Squeeze, squeeze. It makes a difference, it makes a big difference. 10 seconds, you guys. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Nice, Jennifer. Okay, good idea. See me make a fool of myself first, and then you can go and do it later. I get that. Totally get that. <laughs> so I assume you and your hubby have a stealth already? I don't know. Let me know. All right, twist some mountain climber steps on your stealth. Let's go. Twist, twist, step in, out. Twist, twist. In, out. Twist, twist, in, out. If it's too much for you, maybe you just want to stop doing the twists and just do the steps. Up to you. Twist, twist, in, out. Twist, twist, in. Five seconds. In, out. Oh, good, right. 30 seconds rest, and then we're back to our squats and knees to elbows. Okay, very cool. Why did it take so long to unbox? <laughs> Terrified of the stealth. All right, squats, let's go. Knees to elbows. Remember, crunch, squeeze that crunch. Squeeze that crunch. Yeah, we'll go with it. Squeeze the crunch. 15 seconds. Three seconds. Rest. Excuse me. 
I knew what you meant. Unboxed. Ah. Feeling good, guys. Feeling good. Oh, okay. Just lazy. At least you're honest, I guess. Fair enough. All right, twist some mountain climber steps. Get yourself ready. Let's do it. Remember, don't twist if you feel like it's too much, just do the steps. Fifteen seconds. Think about your form, guys. Keep those hips in a good position, no sagging. I've forgotten where I was now. Twist, twist. Five seconds. One more rep. Rest. <laughs> Welcome, Sarah. <laughs> All right, that's those three rounds done. Um, right, so that's the planned bit of the workout done. Um, there's so many of you that are brand spanking new to stealth, which is amazing. Uh, welcome to the team, welcome to the family. Basically, I want to run through very briefly for you and simply the best way for a beginner to start. And if you're a beginner that's a beginner on the stealth, can either be someone who's brand new to exercise or maybe someone that's very experienced but um, uh, is new to stealth. So you're either going to want to start on your knees or your toes, obviously. So the way to start on your knees, get your elbows onto your stealth, get your shoulders in line with your elbows, and then you want to find a position where, where you have your knees and they allow your hips to be in line with the rest of your body. Um, and I don't mean directly in line like that, because that's meaning you're, you're letting your hips go too low, which is putting pressure on the bottom of your spine. So you want to bring your hips up a touch, and then you'll find that your muscles all around here um, and around your back fire up more to keep you more stable. So if you're just building up and you're on your knees, don't get disheartened. Everybody's got to start somewhere. So try this, try a few twists, see how it feels. Maybe you're playing a game, whatever works for you. Um, when you feel like you can do this for a good amount of time, say, say 30 seconds, um, come up onto your toes and do it for as long as you possibly can whilst not compromising your form. So if you can keep good form for another five seconds and then it gets too hot, drop back down to your knees, keep going again, and then wait for a few more seconds and maybe you can get back up onto your toes and do a few more. But basically, the more that you can spend time, minimal amounts of time um, on your toes, you're gonna build up that strength. So eventually, you'll kind of never have to be on your knees again. Um, but it's important not to let those hips drop in. And it's also important not to have your hips too high. Because if your hips are too high, and let's say that the angle here is almost 90 degrees, you're not gonna get anything from your core. So you wanna make sure your knees are a little bit further back so that you're kind of in a, you know, that kind of position. So I'll just show you guys again one more time, just for clarity. So not like this, not like this but kind of like that, with your shoulders in line with your elbows, that's a good starting point. Everything's tense, that should be tense. And then if, when you feel you can, up onto your toes. And uh, a really good way of just kind of driving home the whole core engagement is think about your, I'll check that in a minute. Um, think about your um, pelvic bone, your pelvis. Um, some people can have it kind of tilted forwards, which, pokes your bum out, and then your um, the dip at the bottom of your back, your lumbar spine, goes in a curve. And that usually means that you're not engaged here. Whereas if you can tilt your pelvis, so you can bring the front of yourself kind of up this way, you'll find immediately that your back flattens out, um, your glutes fire up, and everything here fires up. And that's the position you want to take into your body weight planks, stealth planks, deadlifts, whatever it is that you're doing, um, that's gonna help you with proper core engagement. So pelvic, think about your, your pelvis, 
um, because that's going to be crucial to you being able to get the most out of your exercises. Um, (sighs) What have we got here? Yeah, I mean, I'm breathing. Am I grunting? I probably am grunting. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And I've got a microphone on, so you're going to hear everything. Uh, Oops. Let me just do that. Great, Joanne. Love that. Bro, I'm glad you're saving it. I'm glad you like what you see. (laughs) Oh, no. Sorry. When we we twist, do we need to keep hips still as possible? Try to use just the obliques. Or is that that a little twist? Obviously, you can get more twist. We need to keep hips as still as possible. Um, So when you're twisting... Yeah, you kind of, yes, you want to keep your hips still. You don't want to let them be twisting with you, no. You know, yeah, so the engagement is from your hips upwards. So yes, keep your hips stiff. Um, and then you'll get more in the obliques, as you just said. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't see that before. Three to nine, a little hip. Minimal, minimal hip and you'll be fine, yeah. Thank you for that question. Good question. Cindy. Welcome to the team, Cindy. Love that. Um, yeah, so just, just a quick run through on that one, sorry. So after Priscilla asked. So when you're doing your style twist, you don't want to be twisting um, and letting... So if I, twist, if I twist to my right here, I don't want to let my left side come through as well because that takes away from the, the actual twisting across your obliques and your stomach and your, and your torso. Um, so you want to keep your hips in a really um, static position so that when you twist like here, right now down my right side, which is here, everything is engaged to keep the stealth right there. And likewise, if I come back around this way, all of my left is properly engaged. But if I brought my hips around like this, it starts to become a little less effective. So keep your hips nice and still. And yeah, you don't want them to be tilting or shifting. But yeah, great question. Um, anybody else got any questions about anything? Cindy, um, I hope, did you join in with this one, Cindy? If not, Saturday, 12 p.m. EST, um, 5 p.m. my time. We'll be doing this again. Laura. <laughs> At least your dog cares. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> Sari is so welcome. Um, have, has anybody got any questions about any exercises that I went through? Maybe you want to ask me something completely separate. I'll stick around for a few minutes. Um, <sighs> is there anything that I can bring forward? You could, if you're brand new to stealth and you want to do some more things like push-ups, you can change the angle, but you can take, you can take away the, um, the challenge of it being, you know, unstable by pivoting your stealth on the bottom. You can have the hands on the sides and you can either be on your knees for the push-up like that and just do a slightly more shallow one because of the stealth, you don't want to hit your head. Um, Or you can do it on your toes. But that's another way of doing stuff without necessarily doing full ones on the unstable surface. Um, but when you're doing your push-ups, try and make sure that your arms aren't coming out here, which I've seen a lot of people do. So you don't want to have your arms coming out here. You want to have, pretend, a great way of saying this is to pretend that you're pushing somebody <laughs> or the wall away. So you wouldn't come up to the wall and you wouldn't stick your arms out like that and push, would you? Naturally, you kind of go like this. And so your arms are a kind of 45 degree angle. And that's the angle of your arms that you want to take into push-ups. So not out here. You want to have them here in a 45 degree angle. Um, and you'll also find that you get some great chest engagement. And your core naturally fires up. So that would be the best way to do the push-ups. Tip, tips for triceps. Interesting. 
How do you mean? Um, do you mean by working the triceps more or? Let me know what you mean by that, Sarah. Triceps on the stealth, is that what you mean? <clears throat> yes, Sarah, yeah, yeah. So it's a very natural movement. This is never natural to anybody. I don't know. I don't know why people do it, but they do. A lot of people do it, so it's clearly a thing. But yeah, if you're against the wall and you push it, you're always gonna push in that kind of, that position. You're never gonna be, no one does that. So that's the, that's the push up position for sure. <coughs> um, any other questions, guys? I didn't really do you guys a, a, a warm down, so let's just do a really quick warm down. If you're still with me, that is. Just do some side lunges, which will just get you groin stretching, your hip stretch. <sighs> kind of glossed over that, sorry. Uh, grab a wall or something for some balance or just balance yourself. Just do some leg swings. <sighs> and change side. Any other questions, pop them in there. I'll check it out. And let's just do some toe taps, uh, like a windmill. It feels good across your back. And I hope everybody's gonna join me on Saturday, 12 p.m. EST. And some side stretches. Arms across your chest, keep it moving, keep it dynamic. <clears throat> Have a drink. Uh, those push-ups. Push-ups with your arms close. Do you mean close grip push-ups like that? Uh, those would do your tri. Yeah, yeah. Those would do triceps. So you could do those. You could do those without the stealth. Um, is that going to be? in shot not really <clears throat> all right so close grip push-ups you kind of want to put your hands into a diamond I don't know if you can see from there I hope you can um, and then if you're on your knees um, come down like that and your arms are gonna be 45 degrees still that doesn't change but you're gonna notice more of an engagement across your yeah your triceps but also the inner of your chest. Um, and if you're full body, spread your fingers. Don't, don't have your hands like that. I mean, you can, but it's just better if you spread your fingers out. So spread your fingers and then that's it. Inner chest and triceps really get a good, get a good burn off that one. And if you take it onto the stealth, exactly the same would apply. It's actually more comfortable on the stealth because the stealth's awesome, of course. So yeah, on your knees, close grip. On your toes, close grip. Much more engagement than on the floor, but keep those hips in a good position. <sighs> Thank you, Priscilla. Have a great day. Uh, Sarah, elbows close, don't worry. That's it, so yeah, even if it's close grip, I mean, you can put your elbows out, but I, I don't know why you would. So yeah, now you know, now you know. Anyway, you guys, uh, any other questions real quick? Otherwise, I'm gonna shoot. I wish you guys a great Wednesday. My next live is on Saturday at 12 p.m. EST. Please do join me. It's a lot of fun, especially when I'm not talking to myself. Um, oh, micro workouts. Um, so when you're fitting in your micro workouts, whether you're doing push-ups, whether you're doing jumping jacks, whether you're doing um, any stealth twisting planks, um, squat pulses, whatever it is you're doing. So you can do them around the house, doing chores, you could do it before you load the dishwasher, after you've loaded the dishwasher, before you unload it, after you unload it, before you do the laundry, um, before you cook, whatever. You make it a great habit. It's great for your mental state. Um, 
But part of the challenge that I'm running at the moment, the, May, the Move More in May challenge, um, is every 500 steps, um, do a micro workout. So you, you've got a choice of one, two, or three, and you do this for one minute each. Okay, so if you're doing, I don't know, uh, like, let's say you do 5,000 steps, that's 10 opportunities to do at least one minute of exercise. Cumulative effect is amazing because you get to the end of the day and you've done a whole, a whole workout and you actually haven't taken any time you know, out of your day to do that. You've just done little and often, which is amazing. Um, so micro workouts aren't to be sniffed at. And also, lots of you are enjoying the stealth games and um, subscribing to the premium ones, which is amazing. Um, keep doing that because it keeps it varied for you, keeps it fun. Um, and the guys put a lot of effort into choosing what games go in and the designing of them and they need to be used. Um, but the mental effect you're having when you're taking your, um, when you're playing your games throughout the day, um, giving your mind something else, not coronavirus related, to focus on. Um, it's like when you do your, your mind games, your Sudokus and stuff. It, it, it makes you think differently and there's a great uh, game called Bubble Blast which uh, the first time I played it, my brain was all over the place. I needed to figure out what I had to do. Um, so you're not only getting a great physical workout, you're getting a great mental workout. Your nervous system's going to benefit from it. So you're benefiting all the way with stealth, 100%. <sighs> Any last question before I'm going? Let's check it out. Joanne. Joanne, that's not good enough. Stop being a nurse. Come home and watch the, uh, watch the stealth lives. No, much respect to you, Joanne. Um, what you do is incredible, but you can always catch it when it's posted later on. Um, but thank you for joining me today. Uh, I miss anybody. Sarah, thanks for your questions. No, I think that's it. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Um, Saturday, 12 p.m. EST is my next one. Any questions for anybody following this after, please comment below and um, I'll check it out. Otherwise, have a cracking day. Thank you very much, guys. See ya.